Welcome back to Oracle of Ages Cursed, everybody. I'm Colorful Arty, starting you off in the middle of the dungeon, rather than at the beginning and having to walk all the way down here. I figured we would just save time that way. So, get rid of the Moldorms. Sword beams are useful for that. Alright, that Moldorm is just going in circles. Alright. Let's try this puzzle out for real. So that's where we're gonna end it. Sounds good. Alright. Let's just try some stuff, shall we? Oh no. Oh no. puzzle's tough. I like what I did at the start, though. Darn it! Darn it! Darn it! Oh, darn! So we've got to finish in that dead-end corner over there, as you can see. Same mistake as before. Darn it! This puzzle's pretty evil. Doom 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 doom. Darn it! Artie, stop being so dumb. That's not gonna work. <sighs> oh, this is looking promising. There we go! And for this, we get the Power Glove! You can now lift heavier objects than the Power Bracelet could. Did he just shoot me through a block? Alrighty, yay! To be perfectly honest, the Power Gloves are kind of a lame final dungeon item to get, because it's literally only useful for lifting one Fane. Granted, there are multiple copies of that one Fane, but... So we could go for that locked door, but there's other stuff that we need to attend to first. Actually, to be perfectly honest, I don't think we have to do this. But it, I think it only gives us a Gasha Seed, but... Eh, I like my loot. I like getting all the tr uh, chests in the dungeon. Yep, that chest all the way over there. I suppose I could have short... Nah, actually, saving and quitting would not have really shortcutted this. 
Because getting through those first four rooms is time-consuming. Mainly the third room, with all the bombing you need to do. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Alright, right here. That's what the Power Gloves can do, and we get a Gasha Seed. Back. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Is there nothing up? Nope, there's nothing up there. Alright. Just in case. Just in case. Alright, now we have to go all the way back to that locked door, unfortunately. But after that, the rest of the dungeon is much more straightforward, much less backtracking. Wait! There is one of those up here? I used my switch hook and it didn't work! It just doesn't seem right. I don't think it leads anywhere, I think it just is a shortcut. Alright, out of here ghosts, go up here. Do not tell me I have to go all the way back and switch that. I don't think I do. That's right, there's a switch down here. I love how Dark Nuts are much easier in this than they were in the original Zelda. Alright, what we want to do is hit it the twice, so we're actually up on top of these blocks. Get out Rock's Feather. There we go. Linky come to town, he come to save. And we can at last, at last, go for this staircase. Welcome to Basement 2. This is why I went out of my way to get the boomerang. These are anti-fairies. If you hit them with a boomerang, they turn into regular fairies. Alright, time for the mini-boss, and he's weird. It's literally the Grim Reaper. So he shoots a giant block, he, or a giant ball, throw it back at him, he turns into a bat, and then we can hit him. If he shoots that, he'll it'll split into little balls. And he's actually tough in a cursed playthrough. Darn it. <sighs> He's actually at his most dangerous in that form, because if he touches you, you still take damage and you don't knock him away for your sword. <sighs> Round two against Grim Reaper. And I gotta find a way to stun him, or something. Well, he's just really annoying. Yeah, if, if that hits you, you turn into a baby for some reason. Round three, we're gonna try out our Seed Shooter.
Well, it doesn't work if he moves so sporadically you can't even hit him. Alright, Seed Shooter does work. It's difficult to hit him with, but it does work. could work on him well. Not the switch hook. Maybe bombs? Darn it! Alright, come on, Grim Reaper. Boomerang does nothing. Great. I believe at this point my best bet is to just try to avoid him while he's in his bat form and hit, still continue hitting him with my sword. That's gonna take a while. Well, okay, it's so annoying because he always locks onto you. This is where I really wish I had one of the linked uh, playthrough-only items. Oh, sword beams don't even work on him, are you kidding me? <laughs> Baby Link loses again. I think I might as well try the harp. Ricky, please come to my rescue. Nothing with Ricky. Gaga, goo goo gaga. I suppose I could just keep trying the seed shooter. Darn it. If only I could remember the way I beat him on my original Cursed playthrough. I didn't record that one. I do remember this guy being very hard, though. Hmm... Actually, wait a second. Alright, Sense Seeds don't work on him, that's a shame. Ha! <sighs> Let's try Mystery Seeds. Stupid. I hate that. Darn you! I really don't know what I can do to beat this guy easily. Oh, I've got an idea. Let's try the shield on for size.
Okay, interesting. Okay, so it doesn't protect me against that. It does, however, knock him away if he gets too close. Not that that really matters. Switch hook, maybe? Switch hook is worthless. So shield does not reflect those blasts. Great. Darn it. Oh, hey! Switch Hook damages him when he's in that form. Well then. This changes a lot. Looks like the Switch Hook is gonna be my go-to weapon. Ow. I've lost count of the number of times I fought him, but I will triumph eventually in the end. I really have no idea how much the switch hook is even damaging him. I always end up jumping into his shot. That works. <laughs> All right, I think I've got the strategy down for this guy. Switch hook is just so good. Wow, that was it? Okay. Thank you, Switch Hook. You were amazing. And you know what? Because I'm probably cutting out almost all of that footage, I think we can keep going. Oh no, Wizrobes are back. For those of you who are wondering, the mini boss in a Cursed Boy 3 is going to be much harder than the boss. Boop, 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 boop. This is where the dungeon gets even more interesting. Ow, ow, ow. Luckily for us, we just got the teleport. This is where the dungeon's backtracking back tracking gets reduced to a minimum. Unless you die in a certain corridor, but... You guys are powerful. Actually, I guess not really. Even on a curse play for only one heart worth of damage. We want the switch hook. Where do I put this? Bum, bum. I love the switch hook. Bring it back in another 2D Zelda game. Not a 3D one. 2D one.
small key, yay! That's actually not what we're after, though. This is what we're after. We got a slate! Ancient words are written on it. So this is kind of interesting. Now, it, uh, in the second half of the dungeon, we need to collect these slates. We need four of them in order to open the way to the boss. Nothing there. So if we go down here, this is where we'll need to place the slates. <laughs> I think we'll, we will go to the left. Hi, guys! Oh, wow! I don't know. We haven't seen these guys in a long time. I don't even remember seeing them in Oracle of Ages. Hope you have a key, because otherwise you won't be able to pull this lever back all the way. Actually, hang on a second. What's this way? Need a keys. Ooh, Link's looking a little green in the face. So we're going to harden the lava, get out some Pegasus Seeds to make sure we get uh, over in time. And we get ourselves another slate. Hmm, interesting. Is there anything over down here? Enough. If we come up here, that's right. Shortcut, I guess. Not really, though. And anyways, I think this is where we're gonna leave the episode off for today. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. Tune in next time. We will finish up the ancient tomb. Have a great day and God bless.